Okay, so apparently um, Charles, King Charles, is not picking up Harry's calls. Harry is trying to contact his father and his father is not responding, okay? So here's an article, I'm going to do a quick reading, very, very quick. Here is an um, article from the Independent newspaper who have reported, this is Royal News Live, that Harry's calls to King go unanswered. So him father is ignoring him as Kate Middleton's hardest moment with Meghan is revealed. So it looks like Scorpio daddy, Charles, Chuck, has um, sat down and he's mulled over some thoughts. He'd been thinking, and he said, you know what, this boy is disrespectful. When all is said and done, this boy, Harry, has grieved my heart. And I'm gonna cut him off. I've had enough now. No more arguing with Andrew over this house. So I can kind of set it aside for Harry if Harry decides to act right. If he wants to come over with Megan and the children, I was gonna have this house for them. And I'm arguing with Andrew, and Andrew really got some shit, so I don't really wanna push Andrew too far. But you know, Harry's getting on my nerves. Yeah, Harry's getting on my nerves, and Camilla is right. <laughs> okay, so I don't know if it's that, but here's the article anyway. I shall read it for you. So Prince Charles's, uh, Prince William's, uh, fuck, Harry's calls to King Charles are reportedly going unanswered, a friend of the Duke of Sussex has claimed. Harry 39 has not seen much of the monarch since the announcement of his cancer diagnosis in February. A friend told People magazine that Harry is being ignored. Charles is ignoring his son because of his ongoing, and you know what they mean when they say a friend, um, because of his ongoing personal security battle to regain taxpayer funded protection. You know, Harry and Meghan do deserve so, so what, hold on, the court, the fight that he's, the legal battle that Harry is having in the UK courts, is that so that he has protection when he's in the UK or for that protection to follow them over to the USA? I'm not sure what happened. You see, because the thing about it was, from Charles's perspective, what I can say in terms of the Scorpio mind, I can say that Charles basically was like this. Oh, so you're friends with Oprah and you're friends with Tyler Perry, right? Some of y'all said that Meghan really wants Tyler Perry. <laughs> well, want him in what way? Tyler Perry is a gay man, isn't he? <laughs> so what would Meghan want with him? Or she want his money. <laughs> is that what she wants? <laughs> in that case, I don't blame her. But the point of the matter is, from Charles's perspective, okay, it's like, you know, Meghan and Harry got all these new friends now. You know, Tyler Perry and his aeroplane to the rescue. You know, private plane, private jet. And, you know, whisking Harry and Meghan away so dramatically to safety and all this type of thing. So Charles is like, well, well screw it. You've got all these rich friends now. What, what, you know, what, 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 what? So I think, I think the government now, if Charles says to the government, to the UK government, that yes, his son needs X, Y, and Z security and this type of thing, then that would be fine. But it seems as if Charles is not getting involved in it and it, the government is just saying no. So the government's saying no because Charles is saying no. Is it something like that? Um, but They are in the USA, so do you guys who are in the USA, do you want to foot the bill? Do you want to take care of, pay for, out of your California state taxes? Do you want to pay for security for Meghan and Harry? Do, you, do your purse strings reach that far? <laughs> are they that, is it that flexible in terms of your budget? Can you afford Meghan and Harry? Maybe that should be a question for Team Sussex.
Team Sussex, can you afford Meghan and Harry? Do you want to pay for them? Because as I said from the beginning on my channel, that people love something until they have to really put in. So how down are you? Are you a real fan? Are you like them Beyonce fans that pay thousands of, of dollars for a ticket to see her? <laughs> but then again, that's even, even that's just a one-off. You know, are you willing to pay out of your taxes for Meghan and Harry's security needs while they're in California? Now, it's not only Meghan and Harry, it's a family of four that you'll be looking after. <laughs> so you'll have some sympathy and empathy perhaps for the British taxpayer and how they have to look after the whole lot of this mob I don't know but anyhow Charles is not picking up his calls and uh, Harry's still going through it in terms of you know uh, legally uh, in terms of the security thing okay now they're talking about Kate Kate's hardest moment with um Meghan Markle took place in the wake of Queen Elizabeth's death. This is interesting. So very, very quickly, and I'll pull some, I'll pull some cards quickly. According to royal author Rob Jobson, Prince Jobson, are those the Jobsons from Jamaica? Prince William attempted to put on, they're, they're a white Jamaican family called the Jobsons. They're, actually, they're Jewish. Job's son. Like Job in the Bible, Prince William, ex in the Old Testament, Prince William attempted to put on a show of unity within the family. So, are they saying that Meghan and um, Kate had a big problem? It was really, really hard for Kate, and William tried to cover it up and make it not look so bad. This is a new angle. So, he suggested that the Fab Four, Meghan, Harry, William and Kate, the Fab Four, reunite for the sake of their late grandmother by viewing the floral tributes at Windsor together. Jobson wrote that Catherine later admitted to a member of the royal family that such was the extent of ill feeling between the couples that the walkabout, the walkabout had been the hardest thing she ever had to do. So Kate was not, let me pull some cards see how Kate felt about this walkabout and let's see how Megan felt about it okay this is the right awake deck very very quickly seven minutes 41 seconds of talking how did uh, Kate feel about the walkabout was it the hardest thing that she had to do what's this Rob Jobson guy talking about Knight of Cups okay this is for Kate. Let's pull another one. Pull the other one. Uh, oh, Ace of Pentacles. Kate was persuaded to go, definitely. And then death here. So look, it seems as if there was some kind of financial <laughs> incentive <laughs> for Kate to go. Okay? It seems as if it wasn't just, you know, you guys, the Fab Four, get together and all this type of thing. No, there was some kind of financial incentive behind this uh, four-person photo opportunity, okay? So we've got the Knight of Cups here, and it does seem as if Kate had a willingness to go. And I think maybe this Jobson guy is saying that Kate, in hindsight... And once they, once she was actually there, and once she, you know, all that type of thing, then it was the hardest thing. I, I wonder why it was the hardest thing. I'll go through the article again. But um, in initially, Kate was happy to do this, you know, four-person walkabout with her husband, her brother-in-law, and her sister-in-law. This Ace of Pentacles here, yeah. Ace of Pentacles here, right in the middle, is telling me that there was some kind of financial incentive, some little financial bait that was used, um, not only for Kate, but for all of them, all four of them, okay? So, you, I mean, what a bunch of people <laughs> uh, that they have to be persuaded to walk together, to view the floral tributes together, and they have to be given money or they have to be enticed with money in order to do that. That tell you about the character of all of them, or does it? Or is that just something the royal family do? I don't know. 
But we can see this death card came up as the last card and that was because there was a sudden change in the energy. Dramatic and sudden change. So God only knows what that was. I mean, it must have been traumatic for them to go and view, uh, you know, view grandmama's, grandmother's um, floral, we call it majigs, you know, the flowers and all that type of thing. And also this was done for the public and also to put on a united front um, and let, allow the public to think that they, you know, everything was tickety-boo. Something changed though with that death card, something really, really changed. Because, you know, Kate quickly, <laughs> probably enticed by the money as well, um, she quickly accepted. But then something happened, so something happened in between here, yeah, some little but definitely with the ace of pentacles they made it worth their while <laughs> it's like somebody in the family who you know brothers don't get along or whatever and they say darren i want you and michelle to come to the party you know because it will look good if you come to the party and i don't want you to fight with robert i don't want you to fight with your brother robert if you come we will help you with the house. I will pay the mortgage for the next two months for you. If you and Michelle come to the party and be nice and everything, and we take the photos and everything nice, and you get on with your brother Robert and him girlfriend, it will be so nice. And I will give you some money towards your mortgage. But you must come. Come. Okay? Now, is, uh, is he, he going to turn up? Because uh, there's some money there. Well, it's the same kind of thing here, Ace of Pentacles. You know, it doesn't have to be that grubby and greasy, but you know, <laughs> it's money. How did Megan feel? Okay, so we, there's the cards for, for Kate. And you see this uh, this entryway here. And definitely something, something was going on there as well because with this, um, with this gate here, um, it's symbolizing that the, the, that the money or the energy had the potential to get better, kind of, you know, something, the entryway, you know, allowing in new energy, allowing in new money, and perhaps something could have been done with that money, I don't know. I wonder if Kate was looking after um, taking care of some things financially for her parents as well. Could be, you know what I mean? I mean, this, they would have given them a nice check for that. That would have been more than, because, you know, this is Queen Elizabeth's death, um, the viewing of her bouquets and all the well wishes things, and the fact that the British public did want to see, you know, it's like a big, you know, it's the money shot photos and all that type of thing. So there must have, money shot, there must have been some money behind that as well. The royal family know they're going to make back that money. If they show that there is peace, <coughs> people are cordial and all the rest of it, right? It's a good look. You have other families in Europe and around the world, wealthy families who, you know, who wouldn't mind uh, doing more business with the royal family and so on and so forth. If it looks as if they're more united and less, there's less strife there. You know, less scandal, less strife and a good investment. So, you know, put your best foot forward, we'll, we'll give you a little something so that you can go and whatever. Four, three cards quickly for Megan. How does she feel about this Fab Four walkabout? And, uh, you know, what was the energy that, that changed? Why did that death card come up? What was the, what changed? Megan. <clears throat> Ten of Wands. So Megan felt that it was too much for her. Ten of Wands. And she also, just like this man here, is hiding his face. Can you see him? Megan had to hide her face as well, okay? 
So it looks as if however Megan was feeling, um, she had to conceal her emotions. So she had to pretend. She had to pretend. I'll put another two cards quickly. That must have been a long, however long that walkabout was, it must have been one lot, hell of a long walkabout. Okay, so was she sulking? She had to hide her feelings, but then again, Megan is very, very expressive. So did she swell up her fears? Did she bring up her fears? I don't remember seeing her with any kind of attitude in the photos, but who knows? Uh, next card for Megan. I pulled three for Kate, so let's pull another two for Megan. Oh. <laughs> Jeez Louise. <laughs> Megan did not want to be there, baby. She did before home. Oh, she did not want to be there. Did this walk about actually take place? Shit. <laughs> well, and Knight of Pentacles here in reverse. Ah. So look here. A pentacles card has come up for both Megan and both Kate, but interestingly enough, the, the Knight of Pentacles came up in the reverse, and that's Harry, the Knight of Pentacles. It seems as if Charles is always, and then the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, and then for Kate, we've got the Ace of Pentacles. So whatever money this glamour was offered to Kate and William, it was more than what was offered to Harry and Meghan. And this was the cause of the discontent and the strife that Meghan was feeling. Here are the cards. Okay. Now you can see here the devil card came up as well. Right. So there's this and then the, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Knight of Pentacles, that's Harry not being able to get the, the money that William and Kate got. All right. So. They wanted these fab four to get together, but they were treating them very, very differently in terms of the checks that were being cut for them to actually turn up and do this walkabout. Um, the devil card usually refers to addiction and that type of thing, but here what we can see is two people chained to the door here of the, the Baphomet, the devil, and very much Megan's feeling like she obligated to be there and there's no incentive for her to be there. <coughs> you know she really pissed off about that she's not getting the money that Kate and William she didn't like the unfairness you know what I'm saying <sighs> so that's basically it alright so we got Knight of Pentacles in reverse we got the devil card here and we also have the ten of wands here and um, if she felt that way, really, she shouldn't have gone. But it looked like they really did need that money. Whatever the little check that was cut for Harry, him and Meghan really did need it. So it looks like, you know, I think Meghan would, would rather be a lady of leisure and just be, you know, have, not have to do anything she can do a few phil philanthropic things you know a little bit of philanthropy here and there but really she wants to be a lady of leisure she really don't want to work that's why she ain't really put her essence into all these business projects and this jam thing is just like you know whatever jam dog biscuits that type of thing she's not really put in a uh, oomph into it because it's, it's not really what she wants to do. she rather just probably drink champagne, eat caviar and go up and down and meditate and look after her children and stuff like that and be one of them yummy mummies, you know, upper working class or not even upper working class. She wants to be a member, she wants to be aristocratic and royal but she's having to work. That's basically what's coming up and even here when they were invited to do this big publicity thing. Kate and William got, got money for it, but um, so she probably pissed off, Megan pissed off, and Kate picked up on it. Maybe Kate didn't even know that the check that Harry was getting was less, but she should have known. <laughs> Being as, you know, Kate knows how they 
pit William against Harry and so on. She know that if they're getting all, all getting paid for it, then the, the Sussexes are going to get less money. <clears throat> anyway, Megan showed, um, did Megan show up and, and her face was vexed and all the rest of it because it looked like she was hiding her face, hiding her feelings, but uh, Kate knew. And there was an attitude and stuff and so on and so forth. But but not initially, Some something changed. I don't know if Megan was pretending and then all of a sudden changed. <laughs> <laughs> she just switch. <laughs> she was in a good mood and then in a furious mode. When um, and I don't know, maybe Harry kind of broke the news to her when they were there that, uh, or maybe William was being bitchy and said how much he got, and then Harry was like, "What the fuck? <laughs> That's how much you got? Papa only gave me." And of course, Megan would have known about it because. Harry would have complained to Meghan. Alright, Ashe.